Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for uh, Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our live trades. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see, we have broken down uh, quite a bit in today and then rallied again. We're still trading above the 20 exponential moving average. That is at 13.33. And as long as that is going to be the case, then we are technically safe at this point. But if we start trading underneath the 20 exponential, then we are heading towards the 40 and then probably also the 50. If you look at the technical indicators for the Great British Pound and US dollar, they are looking quite dire at this stage. If we look at just at the stochastic, it is becoming, it is, the momentum is to the downside. The same goes for the MACD, the same goes for the CCI, the RSI, um, but we need to break this uh, 20 exponential in order to basically confirm that we are going lower. Um, we Yesterday, we broke all the way down to the 40 exponential moving average and pierced it, but pulled back quite significantly. And still, we are trading above the uh, 20 exponential moving average. So this could be a sign that we'll stay here for a while. This has proven to be very supportive. So yes, we'll see. Um, this was mainly due to um, uh, Brexit news, and that is also going to make this currency pair, as it has been uh, since 2016, extremely volatile every single time there is some kind of Brexit news. That also makes it so difficult to trade this currency pair, uh, because, um, well, usual fundamentals for a currency pair just have not applied for the Great British Pound and the US dollar the last four years. So it can be extremely volatile all of a sudden, like yesterday, where it fell nearly 200 pips within only a few minutes. So let's look at the US dollar yen. As you can see, we have rallied a little bit. And the closer we get to the 15, the closer the gap we get to the 100 or this upper trend line here, well, the better the chance it is basically to sell this because we are in a downward channel. Every time we get to the upper channel, we can sell. Every time we get to the lower channel, we can buy. That has been the name of the game all the, all the way since uh, since um, since uh, March, and that is still the case. As long as this channel does not break, then that is the name of the game. At the moment, we're basically right in the middle of the channel. It is expected for this to break down. However, that may take some time. You can see here, we, it took a long time before we basically got to the lower part of this channel. But we can also do this. So by selling at the 50, that is plausible. Selling at the, at the 100 or this upper uh, channel here, that is probably the best thing to do. Uh, technical indicators for uh, this currency pair are becoming more bullish. You can see that the stochastic has turned around. The MACD has turned around. RSI turned around, uh, CCI is basically flat at this point, um, and we're basically in the middle of the Bollinger Band. So the more we rally, the better chance, uh, the better uh, it is to basically sell this. So Euro, US dollar, as you can see, we have broken down a little bit. It looks like we are going to test the 20 exponential. Um, that is almost a certainty at this point. So the stochastic is becoming very negative. The um, RSI is is um, it's bearish. Uh, it's uh, oversold, uh, overbought. I'm sorry. At this point, we're at 79. The MACD is turning around. CCI is turning around, and also the Bollinger Band. We basically have been outside of the upper limit of the Bollinger Band, and now are heading towards the 20 exponential. So we're talking about roughly a move of around 100 to 120 pips. To the downside, it is a plausible trade. Um, probably a better idea is basically wait until it basically rallies again. So we most likely will go down and then head towards this upper part again. So we'll see. But I think this is going to be really ugly when the MACD basically crosses the signal line. There's going to be a lot of noise. We'll probably head towards the upper limit again one more time and then break down. Probably, but at this point, I'm not buying this. It is possible to sell it towards the 20 exponential, um, but buying it at this stage is just ludicrous. 
So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. It also shows signs of weakness at this point. We can look at all of these indicators. They're all screaming that this is basically going lower at this, at this stage. The RSI is overbought. MACD has crossed the signal line. The stochastic has crossed the signal line. All three indicators here and the CCI are all uh, pointing to lower levels uh, and the momentum is to the downside. So the first line of defense is roughly here at the, at the 20 exponential. That's the 0 0.73637 to be exact. And we'll see whether or not we manage to bounce from there. We have in the past, the 20 exponential has been a very uh, supportive in the past and we'll see whether or not it holds. But the buy at this stage is also very ludicrous. You basically need to see how far this falls in order to buy it. So US dollar count, we have rallied. And uh, the more we rally, well, the better chance it is to basically sell this. So we most likely will head back towards the 20 exponential moving average here. And that is a move from now roughly 120 pips. So roughly 0.9%. Uh, and it is, is very likely that we're going towards the 20 exponential. If you just look at these indicators here, RSI is significantly oversold at this stage. CCI, is no, the stochastic is turning around, the same goes for the MACD and also the CCI. And the first target here would be the 20 exponential, that's at 12.94. Uh, and the bottom of this market is here at 12.76. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, the link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.